without mixing any words, can we talk about poverty? When we think about poverty, broken windows with plastic taped around them to keep the frigid cold air out during the winter comes to mind. When we think about poverty, liquor stores, check cashing, payday loan stores, and row after row of strip clubs come to mind. These are but a small number of realities that come to mind when we think about poverty. Why don't you admit it this morning? Poverty is not a pretty picture. There is absolutely nothing cute about walking the floor at night worrying about how the bills are gonna get paid. There's nothing cute about being stressed over how you're gonna get medicine money. College can't be funded. Don't know how you're going to get food, and I mean healthy food, right. stocked in your house. Not only is poverty not pretty, it's not holy either. Right. Paul tells them about the generosity of the people in Macedonia. The same people who were living in extreme poverty. What an amazing testimony that although they were experiencing extreme poverty, the record shows that they gave to the work of ministry with a wealth of generosity. That these same people who were living in extreme poverty actually were begging for the privilege to give financially for the ministry. I know it just blows my mind. They were poor, hear me today, but they didn't have a poor man's outlook. Why didn't Jesus say, I've been anointed to make the poor rich? Lord, help me today. May I suggest to us this morning that it is because Jesus knew that poverty produces a mindset that causes people to think and act and to live like peasants. So the way out of poverty and the way out of being and acting like a peasant is to have the good news of the gospel preach to you. He knows that he's been faithful and giving the poor what they needed and they needed the gospel. They needed prophetic utterances spoken over their poverty mindset. Mm. They needed the prophetic word of God spoken over their awkward and clumsy way of avoiding spiritual truth. Uh, God help me today. Uh, but I need to let you know that having less and just barely getting by. Some of you right now don't even like this sermon. Uh, but just getting by uh, and not sure where your help is going to come from. And having no storehouse, that means you don't have no bank account. You don't have, you don't have no savings account. Having no storehouse is the ultimate characteristic for being holy and a God-fearing believer. And some people are convinced that living as a peasant is actually pleasing to God. Well, I want to tell you today that we are more comfortable when hearing those kinds of sermons uh, that affirm your lack uh, and affirm your stressed out behavior um, and affirm your poverty um, than we are uh, when hearing sermons like the one I'm preaching to you today. Um, that we like sermons uh, that affirm us having nothing uh, and affirm us begging uh, and affirm us saying po, po, po is me um, than we are uh, to hearing sermons like I'm preaching to you right now, right here. I want you to know 
that God does not want you poor. God does not want you to be a peasant. But you don't seem to want to get excited about that. When God says, if you call to me, I will answer. I refuse. I refuse. Come on and tell your neighbor, pastor refuses to be a prophet of poverty. I'm offering you the opportunity to get this sermon in its entirety because I simply do not have enough time to air it all on this broadcast. And honestly, even if I did air it all, you would be blessed to hear it over and over again. The preceding program is a Greenhouse production. Come where vision grows.